A couple of related developments have all of us at Education HQ thinking about gender equity this week. For decades, women have been the majority in undergraduate classrooms across Canada, but some professional schools are still practically man caves. Engineering schools in particular are typically 70% male. Schools that achieve 30% female enrollment have bragging rights. This March, York's Lausanne School of Engineering announced a $1.5 million 50-50 challenge and its aspirations to be the first Canadian engineering school to achieve 50% female enrollment. Our goal at York LaSalle School of Engineering is to have half of our graduate be women engineers so that they too can change the world. So far, the only specifics are that Lassonde will hire a new assistant dean of inclusivity and diversity, and that they will fund a local chapter of WISE, Women in Science and Engineering. But this high-profile effort seems like a bright idea worth emulating. More good news for academic women, although admittedly in the better late than never category. A few days ago, McMaster University announced that all female faculty members would receive a $3,500 raise this July to compensate them for a systemic bias that saw them underpaid by about $3,500 compared to their male counterparts. McMaster has committed to repeat the analysis periodically. Last year, McGill University completed a 13-year gender equity project reported to cost as much as $20 million. To comply with Quebec's pay equity legislation, McGill compensated some 2,000 current and former employees, in some cases as much as $80,000 each. So the bad news is we're still a long way from gender equity in engineering enrollments or in faculty paychecks, and there is a measurable systemic bias against women in the academy. The good news is that there's a rising social demand to spend real money trying to fix it. Even governments are getting in on the act, but unfortunately, sometimes this is what it looks like when they're trying to be the opposite of sexist. Once again, we are out of time. Thanks for taking 10 with me. Please take a moment to subscribe to the Eduvation channel on YouTube or to the 10 with Ken podcast on iTunes. For exclusive early access to upcoming episodes, please subscribe to my free email newsletter, The Eduvation Loop. I hope to see you next time.